Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. We've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? warm in here. You'll feel better in no time.
We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. It looks abandoned. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look.
Alice? Alice! Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. She's just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look, what they did to Ralph. nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on! Come! Come, come on! This way! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just 
just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. What's going on, Deviants? Draco Invictus here, and we're going to take another quick look at Episode 7, kind of give my feelings on this episode. This should be pretty short. There wasn't a lot of action sequences, but again, we get to explore the connection between Kara and Alice, and how she's looking after her, and even taking guidance from her in some points, like, you know, should we steal the clothes or not steal the clothes? You know, it's interesting the, the different ways that um, we could have approached this, because we still had the gun, and yeah, we could have robbed the liquor store or the convenience store rather. So there's a, a lot of different ways, but we know from the way Alice responded to taking the clothes at the laundromat, she wouldn't have wanted us to rob the liquor store or rob the convenience store. So I didn't even consider that as an option. You know, finding 40 bucks on the street, I think if we had robbed the convenience store or stolen the clothes, maybe we would have found some money or something like that. But we didn't do any of those things, so I figured that the abandoned building would be the best place. The car did not look comfortable at all, so even though I feel kind of sketchy with the psycho-looking android in the other room, but uh, we will have to see if that was the right choice. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think of the characters? Did I choose the right place to, to bunk down for the night? Are the girls going to be protected here, you know, are they going to be safe? I just don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did I make the right decisions? Like I said, quick and easy, and um, I think that you guys are going to be really excited for the next episode, which is coming out on Wednesday, uh, the day after Christmas, so make sure to tune in for that. We are going to advance this story along and uh, find out uh, what is going on. So, until next time, Deviants, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Drake Winvictus saying this has been the greatest day of my life. See ya.